Good afternoon, everyone. I am Tommy Lopez, an associate at Covington and Burling, and a longtime volunteer with the Vols Children's Project and Immigration Project. It is my sincere pleasure and honor to help inaugurate Vols' new pro bono recognition program. This year is Dean's List in memory of Bill Dean. And I am Denise Gerbis. I'm a mid level associate at Paul Weiss and a longtime pro bono volunteer with the Vols Unemployed Workers Project. The Unemployed Workers Project was originally formed in response to the 2008 financial crisis and then relaunched last March when the pandemic caused massive and widespread closures and unemployment. I'm proud to be a part of the Dean's List and to help recognize my colleagues. Tommy, tell us a bit about your work with the Vols Children's Project and this year's award winners. Sure, thanks, Denise. I've been involved in Vols' Children's Project since 2016, principally by staffing the Pro Bono Legal Clinic uh, located at Kip Academy in the South Bronx. Over my almost five years volunteering there, we've helped underserved families meet their legal needs, whether it was concerning immigration, landlord tenant issues, family matters, or public benefits questions. In each of our cases, our team worked closely with the Vols staff in order to support our subject matter expertise and provide the best legal advice to these families as possible. And I was incredibly grateful personally to be able to lean upon Vols' team during the recent, during the ongoing uh, COVID-19 pandemic with respect to complex cases that concern housing, small business issues, and estate or probate matters. This year from Krabat, we recognize Amanda lamos Cadet. Natalie Lee, Garrett Biederman, and Mark Davies for their work assisting an immigrant client who was being treated for chronic kidney disease. Because of COVID-related family court closures, the client was, not, was initially not able to access a guardianship proceeding that would make possible access to a kidney transplant. The Cravath attorneys demonstrated to the court exceptional circumstances, forcing them to hear the, the case. And they went further, obtaining special findings that enabled the client to apply for special immigrant juvenile status, which allowed him to obtain legal status that will expand, that will expand and gain act, that will allow him to gain access to medical insurance for his condition. From Sullivan and Cromwell, Vols recognizes Tim Weinstein for five years of service to clients with families suffering from asthma through Air NYC. He has advocated on their behalf, both in and outside of the court, assisted them to secure response from landlords and force them to make legally required repairs in their apartments to create more healthy living conditions. Balsa's support for healthy families extends beyond the Children's Project. This year from Morrison and Forrester, we recognize Jeff Zutu for regular service to Balsa's elderly project since 2017. Last year, he worked with a translator and his client's Spanish-speaking grandson to help complete her will and advance the directors through a remote execution ceremony from her apartment. And this year, we also recognize several firms and their attorneys, including Kirkland and Ellis, McGuire Woods, and Ked Walter, who are supported by Vols to provide wills and advanced directives, life planning documents, in order to uh, support frontline workers during the pandemic. Denise, tell us a little bit now about, about the Vols response to the economic crisis facing our communities. Thanks, Tommy. We heard earlier how Vols volunteers have already secured over $1 million in cash benefits for unemployed workers since the pandemic began. Paul Weiss was the first firm to help Vols relaunch and retool its unemployed workers project last March. I worked with Vols to develop a webinar, training materials, and to set up a rotating hotline to advise clients seeking assistance with benefits claims and to eventually provide support with appeals hearings. This year, Balls also recognizes a team led by one of its board members at Simpson Thatcher. Bryce Friedman, including Jonathan Myers, Peter Farag, Eleanor Shingleton, and Eric Yang. They assisted clients with unemployment proceedings, including three New York City public school substitute teachers who initially collected benefits only to find that the government later demanded the return of these funds. The team successfully argued the cases and fought back the government overpayment claims. Beyond unemployment, several of our award winners supported small businesses facing unprecedented challenges during the pandemic. The team at Struck, including pro bono attorneys Kevin Kernan and Carrie Cooperman, as well as non-attorneys Donna Bianchino and Alexander Chin Sukdio, helped form the Small Business Legal Relief Alliance. 
This alliance, along with the help of other law firms and providers, has helped over 550 small business owners and nonprofits, many women and minority owned or run, to navigate and resolve a range of issues, including leasing, accessing loans, bankruptcy, intellectual property, and more. These are just a few of the many firms and attorneys and non-attorneys recognized for their service to unemployed workers and small businesses. Congratulations to this year's Dean's List Award winners whose stories can be found in the program guide for today's event.